Hi kids, today we're going to make tagliatelle al pesto, okay? So this is the ingredient we need. We need a big bunch of beautiful fresh basil. We need some parmesan cheese, gratin and parmesan cheese. We need some pine nuts. We need some garlic cloves, some eggs, some flour, some beautiful olive oil a little bit of salt okay and because we're going to make everything fresh ourselves and we're going to have a little bit of fun we're going to make the tagliatelle from scratch that would be good so what we have here we have uh, three cups of plant flour we're going to pour it on a big tray so we try to make less mess as possible there we are And we're going to make a nice Vulcano. Lovely. And we're going to put inside the Vulcano one full egg and two yolk. And one. There we go. Beautiful. If you cannot have eggs, you can do the pasta without the eggs. Lovely. We're going to put a pinch of salt and with the help of a fork we start breaking all the eggs inside the Vulcano. It looks like a lava. Lovely. We can do a splash of olive oil. And we start working out a beautiful dough for the pasta we're going to pour a little bit of the time some water and pour it in the flour so we can mix and soon or later the volcano will be erupting so all the lava go out you have to be ready to, to mix with your hand. Yeah, I think the time of the eruption is happening. We're going to mix. So the kids have a little bit of fun. Keep mixing, mixing. Yes, it'll be messy with your hand, but it's nice. There we go. Yeah, you need a good uh, five minutes mix.
Here we are, keep mixing, lovely. After you done that, we're going to put a lovely pasta dough to rest in a bowl, in a lovely fridge. You're going to put a little bit of oil up so it will not dry up. Good. Done. We're going to put this now in the fridge to rest. Lovely. We keep cleaning our lovely station. Now we're going to do a lovely pesto. To do a lovely pesto, we can use the Morton pesto. Maybe not everybody have uh, the Morton pesto. So today we're going to do a faster way, okay? So for the pesto, we need, uh, like I said before, we have a big bunch of uh, beautiful fresh basil some cheese, some garlic, and some pine nuts. If you're allergic of nuts, don't use the pine nuts. Just put in the extra cheese, so we'll test good. There we are. So we're going to get our beautiful basil. It's already been washed and nicely dry. And we're going to get all the leaves out. Don't throw away the stem. We can use the stem to make a beautiful tomato sauce. So you take out all the leaves nicely. Yeah. That is lovely. The smell of the vase is fantastic. There we are. Lovely. So we are here, all the basil inside the container of the mini mix. Now we're going to peel two cloves of garlic. If you like the garlic taste, you can put three. I like the garlic taste, so I can put three. Nice and clean. And I always love to take the middle out. It's easy to digest the garlic if you take the middle out. So done. And just roughly chop. So it will be easy to mix with the stick mix. Here we are. And we want to put all our garlic inside. Lovely. Done. So our garlic is done.
Okay, now what we need is one and two tablespoons of the pine nuts. Done. And I'm going to put inside three spoons of the parmesan. And now, without make a big mess, first we're going to pour in some lovely olive oil. With the olive oil, you have to be very generous. So keep pouring. And see how we're going. So, Mix. And we can put more olive oil. Very good. There we are. Need be more olive oil. You see, we use a lot of olive oil because you need the no the paste to be nice and smooth. Now with the help of the lovely spatula, we're going to pour in a beautiful pasta inside the container. Yes, it looks very good. So our pesto is done. There we are. This is our pesto. Like I said to you before, if you have the mortar pesto, you can enjoy and make this with the kids, with the mortar pesto. It takes just a little bit longer, but it's very good too. So the kids have lots of fun. So our pesto is done. And now I'm going to clean my station again. It's nice and clean. There we are. What I need, I need a bit of extra flour. And I go and take my pasta dough out so we can start making the tagliatelle. There we are. Our pasta dough look good. It's not dry, so I'm going to get a nice bowl of the pasta dough. And we're going to make nice and flat with the rolling pin. This 
important you make nine and ten the target tally. If you start sticking, please use the flower. We are lucky. It's been very good at the moment. Lovely. Yeah, it's ready because. Anyway. Yeah, it starts sticking a little bit. A little bit of flour. And now, with the help of your parents and a nice sharp knife, we're going to do a tagliatelle, okay? There we are. Yeah, when you cut the tagliatelle, if you want to make sure everything is nice in the sign, you can cut all the corner first and after, make sure they're nice and dry. But I like when the pasta is a little bit mixed like this. It's looking good. I like it. There we go. Fantastic. After you're going to get all beautiful tagliatelle inside. Yeah, make sure you put the flowers so they don't stick together. Lovely. A nice try. Oh, I love the color of this tagliatelle. Clean all your beautiful station. And now we're going to cook the tagliatelle. Fresh pasta will take very little to cook. Three to five minutes and they will be already done. So make sure you have a nice pot on the stove with the hot water. Wait until it starts boiling and we can go and put our tagliatelle inside. Okay, now our pesto are finished. Our tagliatelle are done. And now we're going to cook the tagliatelle with the pesto and our pot with the water is boiling. So come with me, we're going to have a look. Our lovely pasta pot, the water is boiling. Lovely. So now I'm going to get our lovely tagliatelle. You put that in. Make sure your parents help you. Lovely. We're going to get a nice spoon of salt. It's always good. We're going to mix a lovely tagliatelle. Lovely. So in the meantime, until our tagliatelle they are cooking, we're going to turn on our fryer pan. 
and I'm going to get a lovely pesto and I'm going to pour in half in. Lovely. And for the pesto to test it, be extra tasty, nice and tasty, I'm going to put some of the pasta water in. Not too much. Here we are. I'm going to mix. There we are. Nice and saucy. If you need a bit more water, you put more water. Yeah, can you see it look like almost like a cream it's nice our pasta is almost ready I tell you it take very very little time yes this look pretty good so now we're going to put our tagliatelle inside mix oh, look the color there we are it's done and now we're going to dish and test a lovely tagliatelle with pesto so we go back to our station Don't forget this beautiful sauce, it will be extra sauce. It will be your parmesan cheese. And here we are, our tagliatella pesto are ready, and now we're going to taste. Ah, they're lovely. Mm. Very good. Buon appetito, and alla prossima. Bye kids, enjoy your tagliatella pesto.